Hi guys, this is Christoph from The Cap Promise and now I'm going into detail of Create Booklet. So this means I hope you have seen the part one and part two which is about how to create a booklet, how to prepare a booklet. This is purely about what Create Booklet can do for you. This is the main view which means you're looking at a document. The document typically is a PDF that you directly open in Create Booklet. The PDF actually is used as base document, meaning when you edit something in Create Booklet, the original PDF will change. So let's quickly look at the setup here. The left column is simply the pages column. The second column is the settings or presets and the last one is the preview. Let's take a closer look at the left page, uh, left column, which is the pages column. So you have here your pages, you can reorder them, which means they will be reordered in your original PDF. You can remove or add pages, you can rotate pages. But what I like best is I will drag in this landscape document. So this document now on the second page will be auto-rotated by a preset. The preset in here has actually a setting for auto-rotation of landscape pages. But what I can do is I have a new feature in here which means split pages. And I have this page now split into two, meaning instead of landscape page now two portrait pages which completely perfectly fill out page number two and number three. By the way, a new system as well is the warning system on here. You notice there's a warning popping up, meaning you have created empty pages. This means our document now is not dividable by four anymore. In our case, it has originally 32 pages, now I added two, so we had 34. This means the two last pages of this document are empty. It's simply because we are printing onto an A4 paper and landscape, which means it carries four pages of a normal booklet, which means, of course, the pages number have to be dividable by four, else there's nothing to print on the last pages. So for that, that demonstration, I will remove these two pages again, and I will continue to the second column. The second columns are the settings. For quick and fast usage, we have created basic settings for users, which are from a normal document, a US letter document, which means the format does not really fit onto the paper, meaning if you take a USB letter page, I want to squeeze it onto USB letter again, you will create a margin. And we recommend simply cutting off the margin. And this preset allows you to align your USB letter document to the bottom. Another interesting one is the mini booklet, which means if you look into the cutting guide, on one sheet of paper, we actually have four pages on both sides. So this means it's for creating a half sized booklet. We'll go into that in more detail when we look at the advanced settings of this. Another interesting one is the simplified book. To understand a book, you simply have to consider the difference between a booklet and a book. A booklet means you're stacking all papers together. A real book would mean you're stacking eight sheets of paper together. You're then threading them with a, or sewing them together with a, a single thread and then gluing all these stacks of small booklets together as a book. Since most people cannot use thread for this, which is a lot of work, and there's no machinery that they have at home, the easiest way is to make our simplified book. This means you simply fold each page, meaning you have a, a stack of booklets. Each sheet is its own booklet. You fold all of them separately, and then you glue them together on the back against cardboard. So you can make a nice outside for your book, and then you glue them all in. This means no matter the thickness, you will not have any creep compensation or anything like this necessary. So let's go into the settings that create all of this. First off, you see the output paper size. This is a special che uh, checkbox here, which creates automatically a size. Again, if you're working in A4 or something like this, you don't have to worry about anything like this because A4 is exactly double what is A5, it's exactly double what is A6 and so on and so forth. But if you have US letter or specific book size, this could be interesting for you. This actually means instead of using a paper that's in your printer, we are creating a paper which is exactly double the size what you see on the left side. The next thing is PDF boxes. This is new and just means you can decide between what is the content you actually see on screen that will be printed and what is the content considered to be the actual crop content. This is interesting when you go down and use our crop box. This crop box actually is added to your PDF, so if you give it to a printer, he instantly knows where does the bleed, uh, bleed end and where's the crop box with that. Moreover, we also allow drawing a cut, a cut line, so this means even you need actually the crop box, 
you can have a cut line if you just want to know where to cut. This is actually the same setting we use for our US letter preset. Since we are now in the book, uh, simplified book setting, you can see a split into is on and it splits our booklet into small booklets of a single sheet of paper, meaning four pages here. So these are the settings that are currently used. I will quickly go through the rest. The one thing you've seen is the auto rotation of landscape pages. This was used when I dropped in, dropped in a landscape page and it was instantly moved to uh, rotate to portrait mode. I will quickly show you this again. If I drop this in here, you can see the page. If I turn this off, it's simply very small. So now I can decide it should be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. I remove the page again. We have a special setting for users who print something from the internet or somewhere where there's no page numbering available. So you can add the page numbering afterwards. This is crucial for some people. If you don't uh, use a, a marking or, or some thumb, something to glue them together or a rubber band or even a, a stapler, then you will have single sheets. If they fall apart, you have to figure out what's the order. So some people really need a page number here. Also, it's nice when you want to continue reading, of course. The cream compensation is quite interesting, I think. It's, it means if you fold a very thick booklet, typically even when you have just, let's say, five or seven or eight pages, you see the middle one slightly standing out. This standout would be nice to cut off, but theoretically, this could cut into the content. So what we, what we do here with creep compensation means we slowly move the content inside. So when you cut this, the outside margin looks perfect. And the inside margin, which normally is not really clearly visible to the eye, is getting smaller. We highly recommend using this whenever you use a thicker booklet. If you use this regularly, you should measure what is the perfect creep compensation for your paper. For that, you simply use a stack of sheets and you fold them and you see the standout and you divide this by the number of sheets you have. You can read more about this on our help. As you can see, all of these settings have a help. So if you click on the small help, you see what is creep conversation. When you go into more detail, you actually see the explanation of how to calculate this. There's a small booklet that comes with this and it describes exactly how it works. So what else is interesting for the pro user? So the crop box I briefly talked about, and it's actually nothing more than either creating a crop box inside a PDF or a cutting. But the interesting one is the mini booklet. We use mini booklet as a word for regular users, but actually this is your own custom imposition. If I turn this on, I can edit or even create my own preset, which explains how I want multiple pages to lay it out on one sheet of paper. And it could be anything. Let's say I do a landscape, and I would two by two, I have actually four, eight pages on here. Or I can even try to make even more. Let's get, I go, I go to more, I'm sorry, I go to four here. So now I have eight sheets per, per side of the paper. You can see here, there's two different ways, the stack cut and the fold sheet cut. Folded sheet is something that you normally do in a professional printing, meaning you actually have a small gutter between the pages. You have four double-sided sheets, so eight, eight sheets of paper, on your, so eight pages on your sheet of paper, you fold the paper horizontally, vertically, and then you cut off a small part, which makes it a perfect page afterward. We notice this is too complicated for most users, since you have to understand which order to fold all these things. And while you might be the person who automatically folds on the shorter side first, there might be others doing differently. So what we decided is, users like me actually, I'm a non-professional here, I simply print out the full stack of paper, I put them in a cutting machine and just simply cut them in half. I could also use, of course, scissors. So that's why we prefer the stack cut for normal users. So if you consider all of this, you can really build your own booklet. It could be the smallest booklet in the world if you want to. Simply decide which way they are aligned to, and that's it. So you, you have either horizontal or landscape mode, you can decide the, si the scaling, you can decide if you want to de define the repetition or you know exactly the scaling you want to do. Probably, if you're a professional ones, you might want to use the 100% and so on and so forth. So, this in position. And with that, we're left with the last big part, the preview. This, you might have already noticed, is quite, quite simple. Either it shows you the real preview of a booklet, which means page after page, or the actual sheet, what you expect to print later. 
This, by the way, also allows you to adjust where the page is. So if you don't want to set the number, you can visually do this here. You can simply see what it should look like afterwards. You have, a, as you see, a snap guide to make sure the page is perfectly centered or at least aligned to one of the sides. And finally, we have the cut guide. This is only necessary. So you see here, this is for the fold cut sheet. This means you have to follow the instructions that you have set up because these could be quite different. Or if I simply use the standard way, I can simply see where I have to cut afterwards. Well, I hope you learned a bit new about a create booklet. I might add a, th a fourth quick look, uh, introduction to the PDF booklet factory, but this we'll see in the next video then. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.